Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to Bros Got Game. It is your boy Sunny, and we're here with the road to success. And you guys are probably thinking, okay, let's just watch this video. It's just another episode of the road to success. You're probably right, but you're wrong. It's the last episode of the road to success, the finale. So what is going to happen in this episode? You're going to have to wait and see. It's at the end of the episode. Something beast happens because the title is I am a success. So what makes it so sure that Sunny is a success, man? You guys are going to see at the end of this episode. But look at this. As you can see, Swansea City against Manchester United. Key gets it in in the fourth minute for Swansea City. Past the Past Linda God, I'm gonna speak, man. I don't know what was going on. My tongue was like it was stuck to the top of my my mouth. My lips were all bubbly. Bubble, bubble, bubble sounds funny. When you say bubble a few times, like think about it. Bubble, bubble. Yeah, I know you're thinking, whoa, that does sound weird, man. But look at that throw across from Sunny to Nani, just six minutes after the goal from Key, and it looks like we just stuck that key in his butthole. Stuck a key in his butthole. <laughs> and Sonny with a great cross. We're showing that on the replay. And Nani with a great volley to make it 1-1. And then look at this. Watch this for a cross, guys. A nice throw in there from the right back. Cleverly with a beast cross. And Rooney just jumped ahead of the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper was just standing like He was like, Rooney, just take it. I can't challenge you, man. You're a beast. And Rooney was like, I know, I'm taking that ball and putting it into the back of your butthole. Now, why am I talking about butthole so much? I'm not gay. Shut up. <laughs> but yeah, what a great goal from um, Rooney there and a great cross from Cleverly. And then Key, once again, he puts the key into the back of the net and makes it 2-2 two -two equalizing for S Swansea after putting them in front in the first five minutes. Getting a big goal there for Swansea, the number 21. I'm not sure if he's actually in the team or if he's been transferred there. I think he might be in the team, but he is a beast player. You might want to look at him in career mode because he's a great player in career mode if you play. But um, if you don't play, like, for not recording kind of thing, if it's like a thing when you just do it for fun, then Key's probably the guy to go for and you can just, like, play with him every so often. But don't play him all the time because you want to be growing those young players. You know, you want to be bringing up those ratings. Like plus 10 potential or stuff like that. But anyway, forget about the potential stuff. We're winning 3 2 after that big goal. I believe it was Sonny who actually put that into the back of the net. And then once again, we're on the attack. And Wayne Rooney, what a big, big boot from Wayne Rooney there. Look at this. Sonny's there just celebrating on his own. Lonely. I miss the lonely. No, but seriously, man. A great goal from Wayne Rooney. Look at this for a nice pass from John Martino to lay it off. Rooney just got himself into space. And what a great shot, man. But again, Sonny's in the gr the right position at the right time. He gets the ball through from, I believe it was Rooney who played it through. And a beast shot from Sonny. And Sonny picks up two goals in this game. Beast mode, man. We're picking up a 5-2 victory against Swansea City. And I'm not sure how we were beating the goalkeeper so easily. The goalkeeper was just below par, you know. It was just not as good as you would expect from Swansea. I mean, we had that big game 4-1, I believe it was, in real life. Manchester United won. What do you guys think about that? A good performance from Wowback and Van Persie, I would say. A good performance from the whole Man United team. But, but they probably stood out. And Wowback had a beast goal, that chip. Whoa. Not to, not to, like, downgrade Van Persie's little scissor kick, man. That was beast too, man. But we picked up a 9.7 match rating there with those two goals. And we're looking at the table. Let's have a look at this. Look at the table. Look at the top. We're one point behind. And one on goal difference. Whoa. This is going to be interesting. We're going against the Chelsea rivals, Fulham. Are they going to let us pick up the win so we could at least have the chance to beat Chelsea? Or are they going to be like, you know what, it's our rivals, but we need the points. We need to win against Manchester United, and that's exactly what they go for. Look at this. They get it through to Ruiz. Ruiz plays it through, and Cardoza, who I believe transferred from Benfica, 
puts it into the back of the net in the 14th minute and I just can't seem to stop him in my Chelsea career mode I couldn't stop him when he was at Benfica and now he comes to Fulham in my road to success and I can't stop him it's just so hard to stop a guy like Cardozo man he's just got so such great positioning and he's pretty tall he's a big guy you know but look at this Rooney hits the post there we could have made it 1-1 but we couldn't at the same time we couldn't get that last finishing touch you know that's what we kept going for Valencia on the ball here Valencia passes it back into João Martinho João Martinho into Sunny Sunny once again on the score sheet and it has to be Sunny man it's the, there's no other player that could do it for Manchester United you know get that one point at least and we were looking for another point after this look at that for a great goal from Sunny we had to pick up that big big goal but that is how it ended so what we have to hope is that Chelsea drew their match, but even then we've lost. So we have to hope, no, we have to hope that they lost their match. I think that's right. Um, by a few goals, you know, like two goals at least. We pick up a 7.3 match rating with that one goal, two shots on target, one off target, one key pass. But we're waiting. We're waiting for that thing about Chelsea. We got that one key dribble. And look at this. Sonny wins the golden boot. But we're still waiting about the Chelsea thing. Are they at the top of the table? You guys can probably see him man. Play of the year announces Sonny. So am I a success? You do the decision. I think I'm a success. Not because of all of this. Look at this. I'm fucking, I, was, I was in beast mode in this season for Manchester United. My first season at Manchester United after being sold, after being loaned. What the hell? Chelsea have been crowned the champions of the Barclays Premier League. We lost out by three points. Let me just have a second. <laughs> Bro, who gives a bloody shum and a bum and a bing and blah. Forgot I can't swear, I was about to swear then. But <laughs> yeah, guys, I don't want to swear on this video. Because you know why? Because Barcelona put in an offer, Manchester United accepted it. They got a contract offer. Am I going to accept it? Or am I going to reject it? I'm going to go ahead and accept it. That's why I am a success. I'm going to Barcelona. I'm going to be playing alongside the likes of Messi, Xavi, Iniesta, Poyle. If it's still there, PK, Jordi Alba, those kind of players, man. It's been beast making this series, though. I hope you guys have enjoyed it as much as I have making it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It's been your boy, Sonny. Check out my Fleetwood Town coming up on the right and the previous episode coming up on the left. It's been your boy, Sonny, from Rose Guard Game. I hope you've enjoyed it. Peace out.